You're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore. Something about you is pulling me back, and I'm holding. Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. I just finished, I can believe we finished concealer. How are you? So let's start your reading over here. This is your oracle and your tarot. But before we start, okay, I'm using the girl deck. Oh, it's I can hear the birds chirping very fun, very happy. Okay, so it might be very good omen, very happy. Um, two oracle cards. This is your oracle and tarot, and then the tarot will be read by the sorceress okay so in like these kinds of read i do some coaching in different zodiac which is for everybody you can just watch other zodiac the first two minutes has a clip on i mean like um what i'm teaching different things okay of manifestation but right now what i'm doing is the organite which we just have this you can see it clearly because i'm far from the lens but these are organites it's rose quartz you have clear quartz over here and this one is the um the pyramid one with the um uh how do you call this um sacred uh, geometry over here, okay? With different uh, crystals over here also. I put it in my grid. So the way that I use this is I put it around where I want the energy to be high, to elevate it. The crystals already has its own energy. The organite makes it more um, up and up, okay? So it's like an upper when we're feeling downer. <laughs> okay, so think of it more of like a Zan. No, Zanak is a downer, I believe. What's an upper? Tell me in the comments. Here we go, let's begin, Gemini. Of all people, you know what's an upper. Mm -hmm. Well, I know what a grower is, so. Al. <laughs> Here we go, let's see. Gemini, let's see. You got Eyeless, she who grants wishes, okay, and wish desires and hope. Jocelyn, she who persists, okay, um, perspective, defiant, persistent, and Isra, she who dreams, escape dreams and fantasy. All right, so I feel like right now you're trying, Gemini, your best to um, live, a, live your best life. Turn a page of your life and forget everything that has happened back in 2020. Okay, so this is what you're going through. That's Jocelyn right there. Mm -hmm. And then Isra over here, dreams, fantasy, escape. So you might be going on vacation. You might be doing some, um, how to say this, some rituals to remove stress around you, which is good. Um, and then you have here um, eyeless, because there is some sort of desire um, for you to, I feel like you want things right now. I want to manifest right now. I want a better life right now. So there is that urgency in your manifestation, okay? Let me see the girl deck. You're right here. What, what kind of shade this is gonna give us? Here we go. You got, it's not who what you give, it's what you take. So there was, there's gonna be a separation or there will be a separation right here because you're following your dreams over there. So print of your star. They might message you like, please don't give up on me. Um, you know, this is the card that the concern got also. Mm -hmm. So there's a person who's trying to get in touch with you, but I feel like you're more aligned for something bigger in life, bigger and better. And you're just gonna walk Okay, walk out of there while you still have self-respect, all right? In each, in each 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 relationship, we learn something new and something different every time. You got me. All right. Now, let's see here. Yeah, all this, of course, you know, um, when you're connecting with anyone, you know, there is some past life karmas over there that needs to be resolved. Mm. And once you take that lesson, it's time for you to go. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see what's going on. Okay. Let's see here. First card is a chariot. I told you, you're a dreamer. You're hopping in that car, that plane, and you're saying, adios, sayonara, folks. You know, you get the chariot. Chariot is listening to your intuition. So I like that in your life right now, you're listening to your intuition, which means like you're, you're very direct, you're moving forward, and you're saying it's like, yes, I know where I'm, who I am and what I am, and I'm just gonna go for it with, uh, you know, how to say this, not, you know, no need to explain yourself. 
I would never, I mean, the only person that I can, that I would be explaining myself, to be honest, is my parents. That's it. If they ask why, I have to. I mean, I came from them, so I believe, you know, other than that, the whole world, I don't need to explain to you. Mm hmm. Because you're going to waste your time explaining. You're going to waste your time. I don't. I really don't. Like, why are we having this conversation? Why do I need to explain myself? I just do what I do. Electra. <laughs> Here we go. Next, you have a strength card. All right, so someone is asking you, because the strength card is being courageous, being bold, can be a Leo, you could be dealing with a Concierge and also Gemini. Someone is asking you to stay. There is a resistance over here. So you know you're already the direction of your life. If you're meant for success, what are you waiting for? I need you to stand up, Gemini, and go forth, okay? Get that horse, okay, with the chariot. Good. With a temperance over here, which is seventh house, which is Sagittarius. Um, I don't sense anything in the planet of Sag right now. Jupiter's already in Capricorn, um, but with the chart and the temperance, it feels like um, you're trying to do some sort of spiritual work for yourself. Spiritual enlightenment is a temperance, so you're trying to heal past baggages. So you might be doing some deep, deep, deep work um, in spirituality, which is good. That's the only way that you can transcend, which means elevate the, the kind of vibration that you have, which is good. Do that. Um, three major arcana, so this is definitely going to be a life-changing um, probably month for you this March. You got it, the world card, fourth major arcana. Someone is foreign from you, can be in a long distance, um, uh, but this can also be a new, uh -huh. we'll see, okay? Because there's someone who wants you, but right now you're just enjoying yourself with a temperance, you're just cool, you know, I'm good, you know? Nothing can go wrong right now in my life, temperance, you know? I'm learning who I am, because this is like the hot and cold, so you're gonna see your, you know, your shadow side, you're gonna see your lighter side, and then you see the, the prettiness of it. Now, the person that you're connecting with, with the strength card, they're telling, you know, this is a person who's going to big changes because the world card is completion of karma. So this person is saying that I've changed. Please stay. Okay. I wonder what that means. Okay. Let's see here. You got a knight of swords. Well, just like any other Gemini, you do have a sharp tongue. And um, with the knight of swords, you want to talk to this person and be very direct. If it is the past, considering that there is a temperance, you're going to be very direct about, okay, they want to work this out. Okay, if not, okay, done. You don't waste no time. Can you ever reverse time? No. So how can you waste it? Each day that you are not productive, what kind of life do you have? That's the question. Two of ones, this person cannot make up their mind whether for they want you to stay or they want you to go. They are basically, um, how to say this, um, in a crossroads, like, oh, well, I really don't know. I know you're asking me too much pressure, basically. I'm going through so much things in my life. They cannot make a decision right now. So chances are you're going to dump this person. Just saying, okay? With the three of wands and the six of cups, all right. So you're get, it gets a little tricky on your end because you're very optimistic that you guys will be back together. Three of wands and the three of cups. <laughs> Okay, so first you don't want them. Next, you, you want them. You're very Gemini. Make up your mind, okay? <laughs> because you're going to tell them, like, okay, well, this is done. It's over. I'm out. And the next thing I know, you, you haven't even written the chariot. You're back again with them with the sex of cups? Because it is in your subconscious, three of wands. You still want to be with them, all right? You got the ace of wands and a star card. Good. Okay. Looks pretty good. Because if you do give them a chance... The star and the ace of wands, this is looking like they will make up their mind. And this is like the guides, the star. So they're going to believe, I mean, they're going to start listening to their guides and give this a chance. Because the star is a wish granted. If you're wishing six of cups with a star card to be together and reconcile, this is a perfect combination. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. Gemini, link down there in the description box below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at salbiadora. Be careful on the fake scammer accounts. I will never DM you. I have a life, so why would I talk to... Like, no, I don't. Okay? So those are fake accounts. Um, and at the same time, I do talk in live. You know, that's why you follow me on Instagram. And at the same time, download my app, Eat, Read, Love. That's where I send out my tarot message directly to your phone. So don't miss out. And at the same time, our email list, which I will start to send out also um, astrology, you know, forecasts, you know, that I'm still working on. All right. So make sure you go to eatreadlove.me. I'll see you guys again. Bye, Gemini.